The former president launched a policy think tank dubbed Think Progress Ghana, aimed at providing credible policy analysis and constructive engagements. Speaking at the event on the theme, Ghana's debt burden, reflections and solutions, John Mahama accused the government of collateralizing all sources of revenue that could help revive the economy. Collateralization of all sources of revenue. And it's affecting them because those revenues are no longer available. They've taken them up front and spent them. But the more important thing is the effect it will have on our future and future governments. For instance, ESLA till 2035. It means that governments between now and 2035 are not going to have access to any extra ESLA uh, rev re revenues. And those are get fund, you know, they've used it to float a bond. And so they themselves and future governments, you know, would not have access to uh, get fund uh, revenues. And that is why I said the other time, when the TUC asked that he should take some of the taxes off. I said some of the taxes they can't take off because they've collected the money and spent it up front. The former president also downplayed government's aim of introducing the electronic transfer levy. For the entire month of May, figures available to me of the much vaunted E-11, which was rammed, rammed, rammed down the throats of Ghanaians, yielded a paltry 54 million Ghana cities against a target of 474 million for that month, representing only 11.3%. And so the unofficial prime minister was right when he said they are making just about 10% of what they expected. The month of June has not offered any sign of improvement as only about 7.1 million had been collected by the first week of the month. By the first week of June, only 7.1 million had, had come in. These figures demonstrate that so far the E-Levy has been a spectacular failure and has become the mother of all nuisance taxes. And as you know, a recent survey showed that 80% of Ghanaians who use mobile money have adapted their behavior to avoid the tax. According to John Mahama, the country's debt stock currently stands at over 400 billion cities, portraying Ghana as a distressed nation. The public debt has exceeded 400 billion Ghana cities. If debt stocks on the books of some SPVs and statutory funds, which gov this government seeks to exclude, are factored in, we owe more than 400 billion cities. And so this translates into a debt to GDP ratio of over 80% well beyond the red line of 70% at which lower middle income countries are declared as debt distressed. Indeed, Ghana has been identified as one of the debt distressed countries already. Multiple international financial institutions continue to rank Ghana among countries that are likely to end up like Sri Lanka and default on their debt repayments if urgent action is not taken. The former president also provided some measures to be adopted by the government in revamping the economy. And the current structure of our debt, which is heavily tilted towards commercial loans. Debt restructuring was, has therefore become unavoidable if we are to overcome the present economic problem. The president must make the big and very important call and begin the process to restructure our debt before we become like Sri Lanka, which has sunk into unimaginable economic and social crisis. Meanwhile, it will sell the president well to use some items from the presidential toolkit in times of crisis such as, as this. There's a toolkit with some items in it that presidents can use when they're faced with this kind of crisis. The first is he should address the nation and explain the situation in which we are and rally the support of the citizens behind any economic program that he wants to put forward. The second is, he should fire his finance minister. Stop, stop, stop. And the third is, he should conduct a major shake-up of his government to remove all the many dead woods that have turned ministries into their kingdoms and then finally, he should 
huddled with the best brains of this country to formulate a comprehensive recovery plan for our economy. Former President John Dramani Mahama has reiterated the need for the government to consider debt restructuring measures to help rebound the economy. Reporting from Gimpa in Accra, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain for City News. <laughs>